YouTube. What's good? It's your boy, the rich kid, and we back at it again with another video. So today we're not doing a tutorial, but instead I got a little unboxing and review for you. All right. All right. So the first one that we're going to take a look at is the clipper. Comes with a set of guards, right? These are the, uh, the old Babyliss guards. Um, these are okay, and I know some people like them, but if you haven't tried the premiums, y'all need to get on these. These are beast. But yeah, comes with a set of guards. You got your charger. All right, you got your bag of accessories. I think it's crazy that they came uncovered, like w without the without the safety, the kind of the safety cover. They put the safety cover in the bag. To me, that's insane. Why wouldn't you just put it on the clipper while it's in the box? Keep the blade safe, right? And then your one and a half and your point five. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. All right, looks nice like the nice wedge blade or the not the wedge blade my bad but uh the two grooves the two grooves are very nice all blacked out black handle clicky lever definitely definitely nice i did however swap out the blade so this is the fade blade off of one of my old babyliss's i typically just like fade blades a lot better than wedge blades so not to say that the wedge blade that it came with wasn't great. I just prefer the fade blade. So let's jump into this clipper real quick. So I got the chance to use it and I am going to put a little bit of a preview of how the tool works. I did record a haircut with it. So you guys will be able to see that in this video. Um, but honestly, I will say at first using the clipper, I felt like I was underwhelmed. I, I, I was expecting a whole lot more. Everybody was like, the low pros, the low pros, they're crazy, they're amazing. And when I got my hand on them, they did feel great and they looked beautiful. I give them that. But when they were cut in, I was just like, it's just another magic clip, just another senior. You know what I mean? The power is good. I would definitely put it over the magic clip. It's more like a senior. Um, so for that reason, I was kind of underwhelmed because I was expecting something like revolutionary, just something different. So I didn't get that. But if you're looking at this clipper as a replacement for your senior or even a clipper where you're, you're upgrading to this or you're thinking about copying it, I would give it, I'd give it a cop. Um, I would probably rank it somewhere around like a seven out of 10, not because it's a bad clipper. I think some people would probably rank this like 10 out of 10. But for me, I rank it a seven because it's nothing new. Let's get into some pros and cons. I think that's probably a good way to go with this. I feel like pros, it's lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheap, right? It's got some weight to it. Um, Clicky lever, definitely a plus. I know a lot of people love that clicky lever. It, you know, it, it helps you kind of guide your way through the fade, which I agree with. I, I love taking out the bottom line with a clicky lever. It just makes things a lot easier for me. Um, the color, the looks, that in itself is a pro. This thing is beautiful. Um, what else can I say about this? Yeah, and it cuts well. Uh, cons, the switch. Not really a fan of this. Let me see if I can show y'all. I don't like, I don't like, most most clippers actually go downward. So it going upward is a little bit weird, right? And then kind of positioning. It's a, it's, it's a little bit off. Like, it's okay. Like, your hand is up here for the most part, right? But then, like, when you, you got to kind of, like, come down here and flick it upward to turn it on. So it, it is a little bit, um, it's a little bit uh, inconvenient, the placement, but it's not terrible. It's okay. So once again, 
overall, I would probably give this clipper a seven out of 10. Moving on to the trimmer. So you got the trimmer. And let's see what is up. Super standard charger, right? Same regular charger that we all know and love. Bag of accessories, screwdriver, hairbrush, the tool to zero gap, and some oil, very necessary, and a manual. And that's it for that. Now, the trimmer, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a trimmer guy, I love trimmers, but this one, in the beginning it was trash. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it that. Out the box, not very good. I don't know if it's the blade that I got. You know what I mean? Maybe somebody got different blades, and maybe they're way nicer. You know, so that's how it is sometimes. Sometimes you just don't get the best one in the batch. But um, yeah, it was it was underwhelming. I'll give it power because it debulked very nicely. It took off the hair, no struggles. So I'll give it that. A lot of respect in that aspect. Powerful tool, right? By the way, that's a, that's a sound test, all right? I didn't even do a sound test for the low pro. Here you go, all right? I think it would only be fair to give it a sound test comparison. So let's take out a senior. Let's take out a master. And the babbless one more time. It's not loud, but you can hear it. All right, so going back to the terminal. So like I said, balls out. Very, very nice. Very, very well. That I definitely did like. Um, but yeah, the lines out the gate? No. It was soft, man. It was soft. It, it was barely creating a crisp line. And for me, that was annoying because I remember getting my Babyliss Gold FX and that thing right out the box was hitting crazy. It was, it was like revolutionary at the time. So... I was a little bit mad that they didn't have these tuned up nice. But I, I have heard though, in their defense, that because apparently the FX3s were coming out maybe just a little bit too sharp, I think they had dialed this back a bit and maybe that's why it wasn't hitting right out the box. But after adjusting it, I can't lie, it's uh, it's not bad, it hits well. I would also give this probably around a seven out of 10 um, in terms of performance. It's a good liner. The skeleton shape is nice. Looks wise, ergonomics, beautiful. I, I, I love this little thumb rest that they got right here, as well as the two grooves in the back. You can really nicely line up with this. So it's definitely a nice liner. Is it better than the like FX3s or even the Andis GTXs? Um, I don't think so. But this is why Babyliss is so cool. Um, and I mean, it could be a con in, in your mind. Um, these are the same blades that are on the FX3. So it's a con because you would think new clipper, new trimmer, new blades, right? Fair, but... At the same time, you are getting a new clipper and a new trimmer, and you're able to take your old stuff. So if you do got a blade that's hitting just mint, you can throw it on here. And it doesn't have to be the DLC 2.0. For example, you could have the Graphite 2.0, which I actually tend to like this blade a little bit better. Or even the original Gold FX blade, which is also an amazing clipper um, or amazing blade, I should say. 
And yeah, you could throw that right on and you now kind of brought new life to this uh, trimmer. And that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna experiment with the graphite or maybe even this gold effects blade. Um, but yeah, that's that's probably just me. Now, if we wanna do a test, uh, a sound test comparison, this is the original gold. So this is a little bit loud, I'm not gonna lie. Right. It's not quiet, you can hear it, but it's not screaming at you. It definitely sounds like there's a lot of power in this. So, good trimmer. I think both, seven out of 10. Um, that's my personal opinion. Um, but ultimately, what it comes down to is should you cop this? Is this a good buy? And honestly, if you can get them for a good price, I think the 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 set should probably cost you somewhere between three fifty and four hundred to get the both of them. Um, if you can get it on that lower end side of three fifty or so, I would do it. These are really really nice clippers. Um, if it's more on the 400 side plus, I probably wouldn't do it. I would probably go with another uh, set of tools that maybe come with a dock or, cause that's one thing that they're lacking. They do use the old Babliss, um chargers, which is nice because they're long, but having a dock is nice. Uh, you don't have to worry about charging it up. Uh, and yeah, maybe something that's just a little bit more different. But again, are they a cop? I definitely think so. Would you be mad? I definitely don't think you would be upset when you have these cl these clippers. And I can't lie, towards midweek when I was using this a little bit more, it was kind of growing on me. So I can't say that these are bad, but they're not my go-tos and I don't think they crack my starting five. So if you have a bunch of clippers that you like already, you might pass on this. You might. So that's the low pro. We got, once again, the trimmer, clipper, seven out of 10. Definitely a buy if you don't got a lot of, new, uh, a lot of clippers and you're looking for something um, to upgrade to. Maybe not so much if you already got a bunch of tools that you already enjoy. So let me know what y'all think. If y'all feel like I left anything out, please let me know. And uh, yeah, let me know if you like these because I could be being a little bit critical and maybe these are your go-tos and maybe you love these and maybe these are the goats for you. So leave me a comment, let me know how you feel and I'll catch y'all on the next one. <laughs> Uh, Josh, if you could rank them out of 10, the low pros, like Clipper and Liner, what would you rank them? I think I'm like 6. A 6? Dang, that's bad. I thought, I thought you'd give them like, you know, maybe like a 7.5, just because they can cut. But yeah, they, I'm telling you, they're not, they're not, they're underwhelming. All right, so now we're gonna show you these clippers at use. Um, I did wanna leave that little clip that I had of the shop audio in there where we kinda talked about it. I let my uh, colleague Josh get a chance to use them. And kinda going back to what I said, I felt like the tools were a little bit underwhelming. Like, don't get me wrong, as you can see here, they're balding out well. Definitely a powerful liner. It was more towards the uh, the sharpness of the, the blade itself, where I think now looking at it, maybe the DLC 2.0 blade isn't the best blade for uh, the crispiest lineups. It's probably a better blade just for debulking in general. But I think for us, it was just, again, that it wasn't really anything new or special. But in that same breath, it is cutting and it is clean. And right, like you can see right here, 
where it's balding out well. It's not bad. I definitely like how it looks. It's definitely a beautiful clipper. And now I'm just going in with that low pro, putting in my initial guideline, put the lever all the way open. And like I said, using this clipper more throughout the week, it definitely started to grow on me. It's not a bad clipper. It's definitely a gorgeous clipper at that. Again, just my only critique is just, I didn't feel like it was different. And for a guy that picks up clippers on the regular, have a lot of clippers, I think I was expecting something a little bit, just different. But yeah, now we're going in with clipper over comb and we're simply just taking away some of that bulk before we get deeper into that fading process. And as you can see, you know, I'm, this isn't really a full tutorial, but you know, it, it, it's cutting well. Like it's, uh, the fade's coming out. It's starting to look like how it's supposed to. And I mean, I mean, realistically, when you look at it like that, it gets the job done. And if you're looking for a clipper, that's gonna cut well, do a good job. It's definitely a clipper for that. I just think if you're a barber where you're looking for something new or looking for something different, it might not be that. But honestly, I think I wanna stop with the, with the hate. I wanna give it a little bit more love than I guess a little more love than critique. I'm giving it a lot of, I'm being real, real hard on this clipper. Cause to be honest, I had fun using it. It took me a little bit to warm up to it. It's definitely not a bad clipper. And as you can see, I'm just nudging out that bottom line, going from closed, halfway open to fully open. And then if there's gonna be any hard line left over, just touch that back up with the zero guard to make it nice and clean. But they're, they're kind of, they feel, they feel deep in the hand, you know, they're not really too, like, too heavy or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, so it's too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Big blade, paper blade, and trap blade. That'd be gangster. That would be sick. Yes, that would be crazy. And you use the garden right? It's not like this kid, like the power tool, it's still a clipper, so it's got the lever and everything. Yes, yes, yes. That, yes, that, was, that would be Yo, that would be game changing. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You know, that's actually a really, really good idea, bro. Like, yo, if you patent that, you make some money. That's a good idea. Instead of having to interchange with different blades or have different things, if you could just snap them up and up off the fly, then the blades just fit up. Yeah, absolutely. And going from going between paper and fade would be so nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And I just had to leave that little clip in there again, just Josh dropping it dope idea for a clipper design or clipper style so if i got any companies that are listening to my youtube videos or just paying attention to my content if you heard that little gem please take that and run with that because i think that would actually be a fire clipper but yeah man going back to these trimmers i mean honestly if they did the job with my client's hairline I was definitely able to edge them up. They probably weren't as sharp as I liked it, but in a case like this with my client where he, where he doesn't want a very sharp lineup, these actually worked out very well. So if you do happen to get a chance to get your hands on them, give them a try, see how you like them. That's the beauty of the game, just trying different stuff. So let me know how you feel about these clippers. Thank you for watching. Like comment, subscribe. Later.